you know, the people who take a, who, who help money flow around the world and just take a little piece of it, which goes all the way from an investment bank like Goldman Sachs to uh, credit card processors like Mastercard and Visa and American Express and a host of other businesses are incredibly inflation proof. Um, there's an interesting thing in commodities right now that everybody's fearful of a slowdown in China and so a bunch of commodity prices have come down. Uh, iron ore was below $100 a ton not so long ago and it's come back quite a bit and um, just interesting to see because you're absolutely right. The uh, uh, I think that, well, it's a consensus view, in spite of technological progress, in order to have civilization, you need a lot of physical stuff. And physical stuff doesn't just appear, you have to go and mine it out of the ground and it involves things like concrete and steel and all these, all these things which, which rely on mining, basically. And I think that what I find very hard is that the only assets that you want to own on the natural resource side are the lowest cost ones, you like the low cost provider. And by and large, those assets are already dominated by some of the big mining companies. Uh, and uh, so, and are not so cheap. And the ones that are cheap are, where, are, are mining assets where you go up the cost curve a little bit. And the question is, so I, I looked at a company that produces iron ore recently and they're, they're not at the lowest part of the cost curve but when you talk about iron ore the people who are at the lowest cost of the co part of the cost curve are some, some mines in um, Brazil and some mines in northwest Australia which basically the whole that whole part of the continent is iron ore and they can just scoop the stuff up uh, so when they're expanding their production capacity are you going to be priced out of the market it's very very hard to judge which is why uh, investing isn't easy but something you know if you talk about uh, inflation protection uh, something that is kind of I think in the same vein and again I haven't found any good ideas so if anybody watching this video sees this and gets inspired feel free to send me an email uh, you know uh, the opposite of inflation has been happening for energy prices in the United States at least with the cost of natural gas no longer at all-time lows, but not far off its all-time lows. And that bodes really well for manufacturing, especially certain kinds of energy-intensive manufacturing. Uh, I don't understand enough about the manufacturing sector, and to the extent that i found companies that have high energy prices, inputs, then um, uh, uh, the, the, the price is already made up for it. So there are plenty of smart people who are on top of this much better than I've been. But there's another interesting thing that in Korea, a big part of the Korean miracle or an important part of the Korea, story of the Korean miracle is the story of POSCO and how they decided to do the exact opposite of dumping, uh, which is where you price high in your local market and then sell extra capacity to the international market, which is considered to be an abusive uh, world trade agreements and a, a, an abusive practice. Um, POSCO did the opposite. They, they price their uh, steel to local producers of local manufacturers, their clients locally, they price it at 20% below uh, the world price, thus giving an, a, a sort of a persistent and subtle cost advantage to Korean manufacturers. Well, it may be that the energy prices now in the United States are going to give a persistent advantage to certain kinds of people in the US. I just haven't found them yet. <laughs> uh, a place that I would tell you where it seems like people have had their hands, heads handed to them in a major way um, is retail. And I think that I, I've come to the opinion that there are some really important sectors that I never ever want to invest in. One is retail. It's just too hard to figure out. And uh, maybe there's two retail companies that are worth looking at. Walmart, McDonald's, maybe three and Costco, but the vast majority are just way way too hard to figure out. Another place, another two places where I, I feel pretty confident that I don't want to invest again in the future is healthcare. Uh, and actually interestingly enough for some people who are watching this education, for-profit education, and I can get into that John if you ask.